Hi everyone, welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today we are making a delicious and healthy twist on a classic brownie. We are making healthy brownies with very healthy ingredients. Let's go and let me show you how to make them. First of all, our secret ingredient that is going to add such moisture to our brownies is applesauce. We are using unsweetened applesauce here. Although I have my peanut butter at room temperature, I just placed it into the microwave for 15 seconds, just so it's easier to work with. Do you store your peanut butter at room temperature or do you keep it in the fridge? Let me know in the comments below where you store your peanut butter. Now we add in some honey, some brown sugar, if you don't want to add in the brown sugar here, you can add in some more honey in place of the brown sugar. Now we're going to add in some vanilla extract, but to the vanilla extract, we are going to add in some instant coffee powder, and it's going to automatically dissolve, which is exactly what we want. So give that a mix. And this is just going to intensify the chocolate flavor in our brownies. It's going to be delicious. And pour it in there. And now we're going to give our wet ingredients and the brown sugar a good mix. Now we add in our unsweetened cocoa powder. And mix just until combined. Wait, one more important ingredient some salt. Now we mix. Now you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You also want to prepare a nine by nine inch baking pan that has been greased and lined with parchment paper. Now we bring in our prepared pan. Place your brownie batter into your prepared pan. Very simple, very easy, but oh, so delicious. Now spread it as evenly as possible. Now we're going to place some semi-sweet chocolate chips on top of our brownie batter here, as much or as little as you like. This looks perfect. Now I'm just going to give it a gentle little tap. And now we are going to place this into our preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to bake it. I will let you know how long mine were in the oven for and what they look like once they are done. Let's get to baking. My brownies baked for exactly 45 minutes, then I left them in the pan to cool completely. Once they were cooled completely, I just placed them in the fridge because it was already late at night. So they are definitely ready um, to be served. Now I've already sliced them up here in the pan, but I'm going to show you what they look like. I'm going to place them on my cutting board. Now these are uh, very dense brownies, very moist. They have no flour or anything like that that binds them together. So so they are wonderful, they are delicious, and definitely a healthy treat. So let's try them. Before we move on to trying our brownies, I just wanted to mention you want to make sure you keep these refrigerated and they will be perfect. We are ready to try a brownie. It tastes like the brownies are made of a pudding or a mousse. The texture is amazing. It is soft, wonderful, delicious, a healthy treat. You need to try this, make it, you're gonna love it. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna go eat my brownie. Bye everyone.